Welcome to CNET Top 5, where each time we meet, we count out another hot CNET list. I'm Tom Barron. Leopard's out, Vista's out, the two historic rivals, Mac and Windows, are battling head-to-head -head for your desktop. So, let's take a step back and count down the top five differences between Mac and Windows. At number five, the special keys. For years and years, Macs have had the command key. It's a cute little swirly thing, but with an imposing name. Windows has a logo for the product. Coming in at number four, mouse buttons. PCs have at least two, sometimes as many as three or four. With Macs, you get one. Like it, it does all. Dude, are you a fucking idiot? Up to number three. In Windows, when you want to close a window, you click an X. On a Mac, you click a glowing red ball. And then sometimes you click it again, and again, and again, and it just won't close. Sliding into number two, uninstall. In Windows, you simply go to the Add Remove area of the control panel or possibly to the Program Start menu entry or Program Files folder and run the uninstall program provided. In Apple, you throw the program in the trash. Before we get to number one, let's check in on the top five Linux distros. Just, you know, for balance. All right, let's get to our number one. The biggest difference between Windows and Macs, at number one, it's the method of death. When Windows dies, you get the blue screen of death, a practical, pedestrian, inexplicable smattering of ASCII text that lets you know something is wrong. With Mac, you get a beach ball. That's it for this edition of CNET Top 5. If you have your own favorite differences that we missed, maybe the single click, double click thing, head on over to our blog and tell us all about it. Blog.cnettv.com. I'm Tom Merritt. See you next time. Dude, are you a fucking idiot?